Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Uh, we got a beer here from Sierra Nevada. This is their Otra Vez, uh, or Otra Vez. I'm not sure how that's pronounced. Uh, and it's a Goza beer, guys. Uh, should be a little bit salty. Uh, according to what it's got on the label here, in California where temperatures often top triple digits, perfecting the warm weather beer is a priority. We happened upon a sweet, tangy, Blend of native grown prickly pear cactus and grapefruit combined with the zing of a traditional goza for a vicious but delicious twist on the stodgy summer sippers. Now being a summer sipper, wouldn't you think that would be produced in late spring for the summer? Uh, here we're in the dead of winter, it's January and a foot of snow on the ground out there. Uh, and this was packaged on December 25th of 2015. So I don't know if, if they're planning on this thing lasting that long. I wouldn't think so. This is not a big beer. Uh, this is a... Well, actually, I don't see it uh, on the front here. It says ale brew with cactus and grapefruit. Purest ingredients, finest quality. Hmm. That must be on the back somewhere then, yep. Alcohol is 4.5% by volume. I would not want to keep this the summertime being that low of an ABV. So I don't know where they're going with that. If they're producing a summer beer and, and packaging it in November, what is up with that? I don't understand. I mean, I'm just at a total loss. You definitely want to, wouldn't want to wait till June to have this beer being a 4.5%er and being seven months old. So I don't know, guys. Uh, I've seen it, and it had the date on the back of it. It's only two months old, so I uh, figured I'd go ahead and I only bought one uh, just to give it a try and see see what it's about. I've had several beers in this style. Uh, they're usually a little on the uh, salty side, so uh, let's see where this one ends up, guys. The uh, the commercial description is basically the same thing I, I, I read on the back here, guys. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we need to talk about, so let's go over to the food pairings. Food pairings says cuisine is German, uh, and the meat is fish. So, I don't know, do they eat a lot of fish in Germany? I'm not sure uh, about that. I've never been there, but I'm, uh, I wasn't aware that there was a lot of fishing going on in Germany. So, Glass bar is a stage, which is a slender cylinder type glass. And the Wiesen glass. This is my Wiesen glass, guys. So I decided to go ahead and bring it out. And from what I remember, I was thinking these beers pour large heads. So another reason to use this glass so I can get it all in there and not have five or ten fingers of head on in the uh, little cylind uh, cylinder glass. So, uh, just not recommended for extended selling, of course. It's only four and a half percent. So, first beer of the day. Let's, uh, let's see what this one brings to the table. I'm using a big fan of Sierra Nevada beers. Let's see if I'm still a fan of this one when we get done. I'm not going to pour it too aggressive, guys. I don't want that monster head. I plan on sipping this one pretty quick. Very light colored. Very, very light colored. Alright. About a finger of head. It is very, very light golden color, guys. Uh, it looks a lot like a macro lager in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. it smells kind of grassy, like a lager to me. I am getting a little saltiness in there. 
just slight hints of the grapefruit. Not getting a big grapefruit nose on, on, on the nose here. Well, let's see what we got. Cheers. Oh, a little on the tart, tart side there. Getting a little more grapefruit on the taste. And I guess that's the, the cactus that I'm tasting there. It's got a, a greenish. It's got a greenish, almost like a lime taste to it. Not as salty as I was anticipating. Very, very easy drinking. Slight tartness to it. A little thin, a little watery. I'm getting, guys, I'm getting like lime and slight hints of grapefruit and a little bit of tartness on the back end. Not a lot of saltiness. Well, let's run out of the fridge. Let me take it back and let her have a sip or two out of it and find out where this one ends up in just a minute here in just a second for y'all. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Not as salty as I was anticipating. There's a little salt there, but not real, real salty. Very tart. It's almost like a lime. I guess that's the cactus. A little tartness. Not blown away by it. Of course, this is not my typical style of beer. I'm trying to get into some different other styles, like the the sours and the the wild ales and the more tartar beers and the gozas and the, just I mean just trying to expand the palate. Final chug. More salt in that last swig than was in the whole beer. I guess it settled to the bottom. I don't know. Decent beer, above average beer. Uh, to me, my personal opinion, guys, is not into the A category. Uh, just, just didn't do it. Uh, I'm glad I tried it. Don't think I would buy it again, especially if they're shooting for a summer beer. And uh, what's basically, in my opinion, that's what this would be. Something you, you could. It's an on more beer, guys. That's what I call these kind of beers. These real low ABV beers, kind of thin. Uh, something you could slam back two or three of them and go back to doing what you were doing outside, cutting the grass or, or whatever when it's about 90 degrees outside, not when it's 20 and they put a snow out there. So I don't know why they would put this out this time of the year. It just don't make any sense to me, guys. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, it's, it's a B beer, guys, and that's what I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it to six, which is a B. Uh, if I was paying a numeric rating on this, it would probably be about an 85 or an 86. So, definitely above average, a decent beer. Uh, if you want to drink multiple uh, bottles of this, uh, you could and not be inebriated. So, uh, a lot more, good lot more beer, guys. So, uh, probably a nice one to sip on the beach if you were down there in the summertime. So, let's go over to Beer Advocate. They say 86 in the very good range. I would agree with that completely. That's about where I would put it, guys. It's a very good beer, about an 86 in this game. Over to Rate Beer. Rate Beer was a little more impressed. They say 93 overall and 91 in the style. And they're showing it in the picture. They're showing it is in the can. So I don't know what influence that would have or, or, or what. Uh, they said here that I've used is 5 on this. So it wasn't very bitter. Very easy drinking. Uh, but it's only 4.5%. So uh, very low ABV. I don't think I'd want to keep this till summertime. Especially when it was packaged in November. So, with that being said, if you've had this one from Sierra Nevada, they're Otra or Otra Vez. Let me know what you think, guys. And come on back. Let's see if we can dig out something tasty tomorrow. See you then.